By 700 AD, the Swahili people had established the Swahili kingdoms in eastern Africa, from Mogadishu, modern-day Somalia, southward down to Sofala, modern-day Mozambique. By 1000 AD, the Swahili kingdoms were the most powerful group in the region and controlled the fishing trade off the eastern coast of Africa. Their close proximity to Arabia allowed them to establish trade with the foreign Arab nations. These links allowed the Africans to get their products as far as Persia and India. The Swahili people were great sailors and built many merchant ships which they used for trade. By 1075 AD, the Shona people in southern Africa had established the Kingdom of Zimbabwe and constructed their central city named Great Zimbabwe, modern-day Zimbabwe. The Kingdom of Zimbabwe was to the west of the Swahili kingdoms. The two kingdoms began to establish trade links soon after each kingdom consolidated their power as a unified nation. Great Zimbabwe produced goods such as gold, ivory, iron, timber, animal skins, frankincense, grain and salt. A key trading city for the Swahili kingdom was Kilwa. At Kilwa, the Swahili people imported goods from China such as porcelain and jewelry from India. Import and export taxes were placed on goods flowing in and out of the Swahili kingdoms. And in this sense, the Swahili kingdoms became the main middlemen for trade between Great Zimbabwe, Arabia and Asia.